Hey, you guys. Um, I hope y'all having a good day. Lord willing, y'all slept good last night in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, these are a few things that the Lord had shared with me the other day. Like, um, I had a vision of people getting their promises from God and other people being upset with God that they didn't get their promises from God. So I saw people saying, Oh, well, God promised me a husband the same time he promised her husband. Why he didn't get me my husband? And I heard the Lord say, she obeyed and you didn't. And I heard God telling people that, like, this person was obedient when you weren't. This person was listening when you weren't. So it's like, how can you expect for God to give you the promise that he made you if you're living in opposition to what he said? If you're waiting on God to heal your body, don't be having sex. If you're waiting on God to give you a baby, a child, and a husband, do not be out here you know, having abortions, taking plan B's. If you're waiting on God to give you a career, don't be out here doing things that'll get you thrown in jail in Jesus name. So, you know, I hear the Lord saying, if you're going to wait on me, wait on me and wait well, wait in obedience, wait in repentance, wait in holiness, says the spirit of the living God. Because the problem that I'm seeing is that, you know, in the scripture, when it says that an unclean spirit, when it leaves something, it goes into dry air places and then it comes back and it brings with them seven demons worse than that. That is where we are right now. People are falling into the same trap that they used to fall into because those unclean spirits that they were once delivered from, they have left the dry air places and they're coming back to see your house. It's, it, you're not fully really living for God. So they're coming back, bringing seven more demons worse than itself in the name of Jesus Christ. So in this season, you're going to have to truly live a repentant life, a holy life, a righteous lifestyle. So you can stay clean in the sight of God. So you can stay blameless in the sight of God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, hear this word from the Lord and repent for the kingdom of God is at hand in Jesus name.